Welcome to the FinTech Scaling Show. This podcast is sponsored by ScaleUp Consulting, helping FinTech startups create a scalable organization to support an ever-increasing demand. When you're ready to grow, reach out to us at Richard at ScaleUpConsulting.co. Now, over to the show with Richard Doherty, partner and host. without homework yeah yeah so any kind of homework so mm. if they for example um that that i mean that's that's the point i mean we don't want to lie we want just to make a the proper um communication for them um the most important thing is to focus on a good uh, marketing team and, and tell, tell me more about that uh, tell me more about your your focus on communication your, your focus on on marketing what is that what is your vision what, what are you what are you seeing that, that that look like yeah it looks like um there are a lot of people that for example or teachers like like me that my accent maybe is not the best you know you know um maybe you can think like okay um at the beginning you can say maybe this guy is not the perfect or um, the example of teacher uh, for le- learning languages, but I can tell you that with even w- even with my level, people learn even more because they feel more comfortable, and that's because the way of connection. And when when you, for example, focus the the marketing only to say we have native teachers, I say that's great. You have a native teacher, that's fantastic. But maybe my clients don't need that native teachers today. Maybe who I who need a uh, native teachers is maybe me because i i need a, a native a native teachers to go for the next level but maybe one person who is starting they they only need to feel comfortable to lose that fear and to feel like they are uh, really uh, enjoying english so marketing when i see the vision of the of our marketing is um it's more like we need to we don't need to sell people we we don't need to say Okay, come here and take a teacher. You know, if you want, I, I want. I think we need to change that message, and we need to say. I mean, certifications is certifications are fine, but we really want to teach you English in a beautiful way and just enjoy and be honest. You know, I think uh, today there are a lot of liars. We can say, and um, they it's, it's true that they want to sell you the the perfect um, that with their products your life is going to be better. But with my product or the product that we are creating we don't say that your life is going to be better i don't know if your life is going to be better you know i only know that you are going to enjoy english and that's that's going to be fantastic for you yeah i think i think i think you hit the nail on the head i mean any any communication that 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 you send out as a as a company as, a, as an individual needs to needs to be authentic yes, uh, and if it's not authentic it's then synthetic and uh you know, uh, who knows what's going to happen? But I, I hear you. It's 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 more. It's it's a passionate uh, message that that you know goes out to to your audience and says to them, "Listen, yeah. you know, we here. We know you got problem one, two, and three. Uh, we've got a nice course for you. Come in, come join the community, and let's learn together. And let's take you from here to to here. And we'll hold hands, and we we'll, we'll be together." Yeah, I think right, because I, I remember now that one of the points, critical points for us, or we can say the key of the question here of our marketing will be the branding. And I can tell you that today and in the future, I am sure that it's going to be because when we talk about Oxford, we talk about Cambridge, we understand uh, where are these companies in the market. We really know what are they doing, maybe because they, they were doing the same for a long time. I don't know, but everybody understand that it's the traditional way. And after you also, if you talk about um, marketplaces or other companies, you know that they are going to connect you with a teacher, but what else? Finally, you have the Duolingo, you have this kind of companies that they offer to you content. But I think if we really can focus in a good branding, we really can transmit something with our name um, and enter, you know, in the, in the mind of our client, that will be awesome because there, there are no competitors. There, it's like, okay, 
I know this is an online academy. I know this is a traditional academy, but Fortify is totally different. Fortify is another thing. And that's why one of the key of our uh, strategies in marketing is to looking for that perfect name and that perfect logo type that automatically people can trust you, trust that that logo type. Um, I think that's one of our focus, really. We are super focusing, super focused on that question. Yeah, I hear you. If you get uh, if you get branding right uh, and uh, and that part of it, you, you need to. I don't know if you get it right. I think I think you need to rise above the the noise. Yeah, but that's that's the most difficult part. It is the most difficult part. We will part. get it. We will get it. I'm sure Agreed. of that. No, yeah. but finally, is that only? I'm sorry for the interruption. Just to say that today, um, marketing, I think. Uh, image are are fine. For example, in Facebook ads, you can see some image like, ah, oh, yes, this is the, the methodology, whatever, um, it's fine. But if you create videos, trustable videos with real with real people that they they were uh, that uh, program, for example, that will be much more easier for us to to really uh, avoid all this noise. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And as you're walking through the, the, the process of you know, building your team, uh, building your product, uh, iterate, you want to build, iterating your product, uh, you know, uh, putting together and stitching together your, your marketing and sales department, what, uh, I guess, how are you approaching uh, all of these big decisions? You know, because the, yeah. they're not small, right? They're, they're, these things are going to uh, play out, uh, you know, positively in, in the future. So, What's your approach to, to decision making? Yeah, um, for the, I think for the correct decision making, we need to really uh, have a good advisors. I think that's one of the, one of the keys, uh, especially at the beginning, in a very early stage, we need to trust people with more experience than us. And we need to really um, understand that, that all these kind of decisions is going to be, are going to be better with different advisors or, or for example also i think it's really important to listen to the client because finally decision making is fine but before if you don't have the proper information you cannot decide correctly and we really need and i focus so much on that and I think clients is one of the most important thing um especially um i think the last time i told you that um to build a team we need to understand the core of the company if we understand which is the core of our company, we can build the perfect team. But if I, for example, create a team only in technology, maybe that's fine. We are going to have a, a perfect uh, application, but we are forgetting the most important thing that is our methodology. So when you understand that our core, for example, in technology today is only connect people, you don't need so much people uh, working on that. Maybe you need more people um, listening to the client, you need more people developing that methodology. Um, that's, for example, the way that we are we are doing uh, with these advisors, for sure, that we, they are helping to us uh, with different meetings um, every week. Um, I think that's fine. But also something I think is important is to maintain, as I told you before, to keep that vision. If you don't keep that, that vision, decision-making, is going to be crazy for everyone and we are going to be uh, changing all the time like uh, okay now we maybe we can go there or maybe to the other la no that's not the way mm -hmm. we only want to have that clear um i think decision making will be much easier um and beautiful yeah and uh Again, as you walk along the journey as a, as a founder, because you are a founder, you're, you're an artist, you're creating your, your own artist. destiny. Yeah. <laughs> Founders are artists. Yeah, yeah, found, yeah, yeah. They got a, they got a, um, they've got a, a, a picture in their head, a vision in their head, and they're trying to paint it, and they're using different colors. Sometimes they get it wrong, and sometimes they have to iterate, but you know, sort of that's what we're doing, right? And that's what you're doing. You're, you're a great founder. Um, Thank you. But what 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 life lessons are you actually learning what, what what's what's changing in alberto that you know you look back a year or two wow. a year or two you go and you go bloody hell 
incredible Fuck. question. <laughs> this That's is question. this this is this is awesome. I, I didn't expect that question at all. Um I think I'm changing, I'm changing all the time, yeah. every day. Um today I'm not the same person that yesterday, for example. Yeah. Um but especially with this experience, I'm changing a lot my my way of thinking for sure. Um I think that if you have the vision, you know, of, for example, how your company should be, you also should have a vision on first, I mean, um, to understand which kind of problems you have today, which kind of um, weaknesses are in your, in your life. You need to have a vision of you. You need to, for example, to create a strategy, throw different objectives, like, okay, I, you know, and when you really understand all these points, you can, uh, feel different and yeah i mean that's oh, sorry no, so, it's fine but so, cause, cause, i start i start to, to speak about coaching but yeah that's, yeah. The, that's the point but this is the thing this is this is you yeah, know, business, business, business is life right yeah. business is life and yes. we are you're a founder so yes, you know yes. it's it's a passion yes, uh, you, you love languages and you know if you don't if you don't move this forward with your life yeah. um there's there's sort of no point right it becomes a bo boring it becomes a job yeah yeah that's, that's that's the thing so that's why i i am all the time just trying to understand myself i think that's the most important thing when you understand yourself you can't really um feel differently and um yeah that's that's the most important for sure and as you as you step out as you step out the boat and uh maybe you look uh, as a captain looks you know in, into, the, into the future you know there's the island um, what what questions what, what what questions are you starting to ask yourself as you as you build out your team as you build out your business um, to make certain that you you achieve your vision? Yeah, um, I think there are two questions um, that for sure are essential today. That is, for example, the first is that if we with all this stuff we are creating today is going to be um, profitable or not. Because maybe we are doing something that in the way that we are thinking is not profitable. So that's why for to answer that question, um, we are talking with different consultants in Barcelona and we are trying to understand our financial model, um, our financial plan, all this stuff, unit, econ unit economics and all these points. And the second question is like what I told you before about the, the branding of the company. Yeah. So if you know what is the gap or you can't really understand what is the gap after is going to be better for the growth and for scale up the company. But if, if you are building something and you believe that you, you are in, in a specific part of the market and after not, everything that you create before, that's not, it's not going to be good. So obviously I think that's one of the questions that's are always in the mind, you know, where are we going? Obviously that island. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, man. That's it. And I, I know we've spoken uh, about this before when we, we've had our uh, sort of one-on-one -on -one chats uh, off air, but, you know, as a, as a founder, as a leader, as an entrepreneur, uh, we're always wanting to continue to learn. Um, and I always, you know, I always like to ask my guests, how are they doing this? Uh, and you could, uh, you could, uh, you know, you give me a book that you that you're reading, or give me a a, a YouTube channel that you're following, or a, or a podcast that you're listening mm -hmm. to that that you think is relevant for um for our audience and for for the yeah. listeners of the show. Well, first uh, I need to say that before in the past I was reading a lot of different books from many different you know authors, but finally I realized about something. Okay, if you are an entrepreneur, you should read more about entrepreneurship but i like it but also i like to read so i i was reading from different things and finally i say okay okay i need to find specific books for example the fundable startup that's the the book that i'm, re I'm reading today and i think also um uh, founders should be humble enough to to understand that we need to continue learning and that's why uh, i'm trying to understand what um, for example, uh, what uh, investor, investors uh, are looking for or all these kind of points that finally you need to, to know how to value your company and you need to, to make that much. So that's one of the books that I'm reading today. And in the past, one book that helped me a lot was 
the, the law of efficiency, the 80-20. Um, finally, that's uh, with some. Um, it seems incredible also, because when you understand that law, um, you don't use it only for your, your, you know, your company, you use it for your life. Um, in all this process that we are changing all the time that you asked to me something and I was even nervous thinking about all these changes in my life, really, I was like, oh my God, changing apply this law in your life and you focus all your energy, you know, in the 80% that is more, is, is more efficient for you or you consider that it's more efficient because maybe it's not economical, it's not economic point. So maybe for me, it's, yeah, and, can be something that is not creating so much money, but for me, it's the most important thing. So I take all my energy and I focus in that. Uh, sorry, sorry, I say eighty percent in that twenty percent, that twenty percent, and the 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 eighty percent we delayed of our our mind. And um, podcast, I like so much uh, how to build this from NPR. Yeah, I think that's so beautiful. Um, there are a lot of uh, stories of these founders. Uh, great founders also um and some weeks some weeks ago i started to read uh, to to listen the podcast of uh, Sea rocket mm -hmm. it's an accelerator in spain um and also i like to to know about our atmosphere our country um because i'm living in france but i i like so much spain and i, and I miss them a lot <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, but i mean to, to your point i mean i think uh, as you as you walk through this journey it's it's actually not always about the dollar sign at the end of it. And it's so much more than that, isn't it? Uh, happiness, uh, fulfillment, and, you know, passionate way of living uh, is, is most probably more success than, than any, uh, you know, green dollar sign or in your bank account. I know. I mean, I don't really um, know what is the um, successful for other people, yeah. but I know what is to be successful for me. Maybe um, I was one year that I was not earning the same like when I was working uh, in a corporate or, or at the European Parliament. Uh, one of the richest countries in the world is uh, Luxembourg. Now uh, I started to, you know, for, I don't know, for free, for free with different students. But for me, that was even more important, you know, for my mind to understand that I had the freedom enough to decide what I'm doing with my life um and to to live something that i really want to live not someone is telling to me that i need to live so even my family they sometimes at the beginning of course they say to me alberto but you need to come back to spain uh, you know malaga is so beautiful and they say yeah that's that's right but i today i need to stay here and that's why um i don't think on other points more than uh, in in my in in my life, for example, with my girlfriend, with my the people that is supporting to me every day, so that makes me more happy than nothing. Yeah, awesome. I mean, uh, and that's uh, that's that's an important message uh, for for everyone, and I think uh, eloquently put, mate. Uh, and and thanks for saying that. So. We come to the end of the show. It's been an awesome show. Uh, I loved it, and you hit a high note because that's a, a bit of a passionate message that that, that we that we leave on. And um, and I just want to say thank you because it's it's been a it's been a nice ride. It's been a nice talk today, uh, and we've dived into various parts. And you know, I say thank you because you've opened up. You've opened up about uh, some other things that uh, maybe were unexpected, but uh, yeah, I, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but but I think. Um, I think that's, I mean, I need to say also thank you for all, all everything that you are doing for, for us. And these kind of opportunities are great. Uh, I know that uh, after we are going to talk again, that's that's going to create a good friendship and that's, that's the most beautiful thing. Um, yeah, I mean, finally, uh, this experience was only my experience, but I will keep, keep in touch with you and listening also your podcast that is... Yeah. You know, also with a lot of beautiful and incredible and passionate uh, founders. So, yeah, awesome. keep it going. Awesome, mate. Thank you.